तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेब पेजेस एंड आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दोज टाइप्स ऑफ वेब पेजेस विद रेफरेंस टू सर्च इंजन ऑप्टमाइजेशन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एलिस्ट्रेट और एलेबोरेट और लिस्ट डाउन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेब पेजेस जस्ट दिस कैटेगरी ऑफ वेब पेजेस बट हाउ ईच वेब पेज नीड्स टू बी ऑप्टिमाइज टू ब्रिंग इट ऑन टॉप ऑफ द सर्च रिजल्ट राइट नाउ देर आर देर आर मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ वेब पेजेस एंड द एंजेंस लुक एट दोज वेब पेजेस एंड ईच वेब पेज इज अ लैंडिंग पेज इट मीन्स दैट एनी पेज कैन बी क्रॉल ओके विल बी क्रॉल अनलेस यू स्टॉप द क्रॉलर और द रोबोट from crawling and indexing that page otherwise each web page is a landing page whether it's the home page it is the contact us page it is the frequently asked question page or whatever that page may be and of course you have to ensure that web page delivers how a web page delivers by keeping the visitor on that web page by engaging the visitor okay by making the visitor do what you want the visitor to do by serving the purpose why a visitor comes to your web page in all of those things when included in the context of search engine optimization brings your page in the top of the list okay and of course that will do wonders for you so let's dive ahead and look at the different types of web page of course there can be other types of web pages also but these are some of the fundamental web page types which i will be discussing with reference to search engine optimization okay so the home page the home page gives a big picture it kinds of give a overview of your website the home page is like a doorway it's a doorway to your website okay now if you try to optimize that web page with reference to multiple products and services okay it is not going to serve the purpose okay it will become irrelevant so that is not the approach because if you have multiple services and you put them together okay that will not deliver a a clear cut message so the message which you want to deliver is your brand name so if you have multiple products and services then you should focus on the brand name your brand the color okay of course the the engine cannot see the color but the culture the keywords which are related relevant to your brand those should be there on your home page on your main page okay about the contact us page now about the contact us page okay you can see that there are many many ways to contact okay you can contact through a landline you can contact through email okay through twitter and so on now with reference to the about us page there are two things we have you have a conversion now this conversion is this a symptom or this conversion is a result visitors who are close to converting check out a sites about us before they commit okay that is a symptom and visitors who visit an about us page are heavily influenced by the content and become more likely to convert okay then that is a result understand so this has to be keyword tailor made okay because they are looking for the result which are related to this keyword now if you look at the contact us page there is multi purpose used by the visitor okay what are the multi purpose used maybe they want to send an email maybe they want to call maybe they just want to know where you are located okay even if you are a big business the local the local business is important to the local visitors okay so you have to 
take all of these things into consideration with reference to search engine optimization. Okay, now let's talk about the product category and subcategory page. Now this is there is now this is the what is called as the buying cycle. In the buying cycle, there is the shopping phase. Shopping phase is the the visitor is looking for different options. Okay, they are looking at different options, and so give options to the visitors. Give them the options. Now when you give them the options, okay, then they will go to a product, and from that product, they might pass through. They might pass through. But they may revisit this product also. They can read it also. So that has to be taken into consideration. Now this is an optimization gold mine. Why? Because you have you have the product category and subcategory. There can be lots and lots of keywords, interesting keywords. But one has to be careful about the depth and the breadth of those keywords. One has to strike a balance between these two. Okay, and of course that requires lot of understanding, and that requires managing these keywords. Now, what is the dilemma over here? Dilemma over here is that for search engine optimization, one needs content, and where does the content comes from? The content comes from the keywords. But the people who are in this shopping phase, your visitors, they are interested in seeing the product they want to see the product okay so you have to strike or you have to you have to merge what the search engine is using to optimize and what the visitors want with reference to what they see the product and then is the product detail pages now in the shopping phase then the people in the buy phase they have almost made up their mind okay what they are looking for they are looking for finer details that is what they are looking for they have brought up their mind so key key is over here is not the keyword but the page construction is the key keyword is the not the key. because they have already made up their mind they are looking for finer details okay so now is the construction of the page okay instead of traditional tags use n mass dynamic tags okay so you have to use these techniques to make your these pages work for you and now for the fact pages and the blog okay now good facts frequently asked questions can lead to coveted answer box this is the answer box so when this is at the top okay top of result these are other questions people are asking so if you have good enough answer the facts you come over here and this is your website see so you generate a lot of business and in this frequently asked questions answer who what when where all of these issues can be answered now what has not been answered and which may be creating cluttering or interference okay use the blog and in the blog you can use the you can explore the topics which were unexplored okay and you can add them and the other benefit you can use it to drive traffic which is relevant so these are some of the main pages which you should be looking at to optimize with reference to search engine optimization that is all i have for this module thank you very much